Alrighty everyone, welcome to 3.1, and to the desert, baby. And here we have the new boss, which is actually the boss you need to fight to get Candice Mats, if you happen to have her. And it's also conveniently called the Algorithm of Simian Transient Matrix Overseer Network, or as I like to call it, the Asimon, or the shiny robot that does cool laser James Bond things. So, when it comes to this boss, it's actually rather simple. However, you need to keep in mind two aspects of this boss, which are pretty crucial. One, bring electro i'm not kidding bring electro because it isn't the sort of thing where you can use like other elements to slowly whittle it down like geo wolf lord if you don't bring electro you literally can't stun it just letting you know right now and of course the other thing is keep your distance sort of i would say around this particular distance where you can see the outline of this particular symbol is where you want to be for the majority of the fight because there's a particular minion phase where it spawns one of two minions and if it spawns the Beyblades, you can't outrun them unless if you're over here. And it'll take a lot of damage, like this. These hurt, these hurt by the way. See? <laughs> so, within your best interest, be sure to keep your distance. So today we're going to be doing free-to-play stuff. We're going to be using Kale, which, by the way, is now permanently free-to-play. So let's say you want to use Geo Traveler, as you see here, instead of switching to Dento Traveler. Now you can just do Kale. And she's a pretty decent free-to-play dendro unit in and of itself, so don't sleep on her. Amber, of course, to help with destroying the Ruin Machines, and Lisa for your mandatory Electro. And that's pretty much it. So, when you start the boss, it will start either one of two ways. One, it will start to spawn a minion minions immediately, or, more likely, it will do this really, really cool James Bond thing. And just run out of it. That's it. And what's cool is that it actually exposes the weak spot here. So you can shoot it and land a few crits. You can hear the metallic, like, clinking noises. So here, it's going to spawn the Beyblades, as I said. So if I were to have been close to the boss there, I would have taken a lot of damage. So you have to be careful here. But here, you can either shoot little Beyblades, or I would rather shoot these things. Because keeping my distance from them and just slowly whittling down their health and with dodging the little laser things, pretty simple and after this you can down it here's the one out of two ways you can down it one just boop and now perfect we have a dps face and this is pretty simple you, it's not immune it's not immune to any damage or anything so feel free to go as it however you want and you should be good so after it gets up, it will do one of four moves. This is one of them. It will just shoot a big laser. It's pretty easy. Just sprint out of it. And just rinse and repeat. Because now it's going to spawn yet more minions. And here it spawns the little pillar things. It will spawn two. And these are a little bit more dangerous because they don't have as much of a sort of distance travel thing like the Beyblade. So just automatically teleport to your last location. So it's best to get rid of these things immediately. See how that thing is going down now? Watch where I will it. Look at me. Oh. There we go. But anyway, the second way is actually an achievement, which I'll show you right now. Okay, so for the achievement Daisy Daisy, what you do is apply Dendro to the middle core, and then use, use this charge attack to catalyze it like this. So you basically overload it. And this is actually given to you as a tip in the game here. But I don't know why they did this, because it's a tip that you don't need to follow, because you just need to zap one of the poles with Electro, and that's it. But this does give you the achievement, so I suppose that's five easy Primo Gems for you. But the reason why it's difficult is because if you only have Lisa, you don't have Beto or Fisher or something like that, the issue with the boss is that the Catalyst user will most likely target an existing enemy rather than an invisible one. That's why you saw my Lisa like go to the side which is really annoying, and I would assume that if you have Fischl or Beto, it's probably better because of the fact that it doesn't have an auto-target system, and it's easier for you to take advantage of the fact that there's Dendro. Anyway, back to your regular scheduled boss fight. But yeah, that's how you get Daisy Daisy. And from, the re from, here, and from here on out, it's literally the same boss fight. You can see that it just rinses and repeats the entire boss fight. It really is a pushover. Just make sure that you keep your distance and do the exact same thing until the boss dies. Also, here's what I meant earlier by Amber is a goat in taking down these things. Look how fast it just chipped away at that.
saved you so much time. But yeah, there you go. This is the end of the boss fight. And there you have it. I hope this helped, and check out Sunway's guide on the top right and in the description and in the pinned comment because he did it slightly different than I did. And there you have it. Here's how I do it with my usual squad, but if you're not interested in that, good luck and have a good time in 3.1. Happy anniversary, everyone. Let's go!